wisdom and insight for worship leaders and music teams all around the world. For more details, email thewell at planetshakers.com. Hi everyone and welcome to The Well. Welcome, episode three coming at you from the Planet Shaker Studios. Because episode one and two, we were where? Live in Malaysia, that's right. Malaysia. <laughs> and so uh, BJ's had a makeover. As you can see, uh, BJ's you dyed grown. his hair blonde. Um, no, have. BJ is unwell, so we're praying that he'd yes. be healed in the name yes. of Jesus. So we've had Chelsea sit in for us today. Thank you for being here today, Chelsea. Absolutely. If you don't know who Chelsea is, she's the chick who sings the... Um, a bit that goes like this. We exalt your name, Jesus. You actually wow. sound, you sound really good in that. Thanks, guys. And look amazing. And My yeah. hair was much longer than was it before I, you know, had a bald incident. Right. I know, the things what we are, do for Jesus. Why don't you tell everyone about that bald incident? <sighs> Jarth, I'd love to tell everyone about that bald incident. Yeah. So basically, um, we have a lovely little thing here called Christmas Spectacular, Woo! which is our Christmas production that our right. theatre team puts on. And I wore a wig in the show, right. and the wig decided to uh, hurt me, and now I am bald right there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's a bald spot on Chelsea's head. You really anything um, for Jesus, anything for the Lord. Yeah, you you went for it, which Pe is good. People were saved. Hey, it was great. It was great. But we had a great time in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. We were, before Malaysia, we were actually in Taipei, mm -hmm. which was amazing. And uh, now here we are in Melbourne, and we're getting ready for Planet Shakers Awakening. I know. Yes. Time is ticking. It is ticking. Yeah. Well, seems as though I seem to be doing all the talking here. I know. Um, <laughs> You're doing a great. Job. You guys can jump is in anytime. You just had a coffee, right? Yeah. No. It is. Um, Whenever he has coffee. Let's talk about last weekend. Okay. What happened last weekend? We had church. We did have church. It was great. Good to be back in church. It's yeah, good. it was good. And we're doing this month um, a whole theme, I suppose, of overflow. Mm. And Russell is each week taking us through what God has spoken to our church for the year, and that is overflow. So it's very exciting what God has declared over us as a church. Mm. It is very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. And uh, I was thinking about this morning, what is overflow? Well, overflow to me personally means everything that is good within my life, mm. just to have more of it, you know, like yes. um, like cheeseburgers. I just want more. <laughs> I, want okay. I want an overflow Damn. of cheeseburgers. Not a good no, idea. No, because then I have an overflow of stomach. <laughs> and that would be really bad. And you don't want to overflow the stomach over no. the pants. No. No one wants you that. You don't want that. <laughs> That's bad. No, but I was thinking like you want an overflow of joy. You want an overflow of, yes. of wisdom. You want an overflow of finance. You yes. want an overflow of blessing. And and yeah. uh, so it's great when we focus, like Pastor Russell says, what you focus on is what you get. Yep. We're focusing on overflow right now. Well, we're focusing on God who brings the overflow. Yeah. But in, in in light of all that, we are seeing mirac miracles happen. We and, are. Um, Amazing thing. So praise God for the overflow. Yes, yes. But the awesome. weekend, uh, were you at a different campus? No. No, I was in was Melbourne. Was I? No. no. Were you? No. 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 We, here. we were all here. We were here in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, all together. Talk about songs that we we did. Um, I did a little bit different with, with the song list this, this weekend. Normally every weekend we'll do the, the brand new songs in church yep. mm -hmm. that we always do. Yeah. Um, but I thought I'm going to... I'm going to take people on a journey. Mm. So we started with the song, It's All About You, because I really just felt like right from the get-go of this service, we just got to declare it's all about Jesus. And that's a song that everyone knows really well because it's already on an album. And then we actually went into this new song called Got to Give Him Glory in brackets overflow. And it actually, should we show them what it sounds like? It, yeah. sa it sounds like this. You are so good to me. So that's how it kind of goes, really and we great. do those dance moves to it. So that was a lot of fun. It's got a little bit more of a gospel feel. Mm. And then we went into Turn It Up, which is an old school song yeah. for us now. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, through all those different styles of the songs, felt like this just felt a bit more fresh to me rather than the same old songs. And then in worship. Not that we're ever like that, mind you. No, no, we're never, never like that. Are. And then in worship, <laughs> um, what did you do, Pastor Sam? I sang. You sang? Yeah. Burn. We yes, started with Burn, burn Fee, which is a new song. Mean? We'll give him a snippet of the chorus. Here it is. Okay. Your presence, Lord, I desire your presence. 
So that was a good song. Great song. And yeah. and then you went into uh, another new worship song. Yes. Called just the woes though. Just the woes, which the which, woes. which sound like this. And that was great because it's just like a really nice worship moment. Mm, yeah. It's powerful. And then what did you do after that? I went into that Holy Spirit song. Which sounds like this. <laughs> Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come and move upon. So look, I think you did great and um, worship was great. Mm, powerful. Pastor Russell preached great and it yes. was a great weekend. We hope you awesome. had a great weekend in your church. Yes. Yeah. Well, every week we love to share with you what's on our heart. And today, Chelsea is going to share what's on her heart. Hopefully this encourages you. Yes. Well, Pastor Russell has been talking about the overflow and uh, it's something we're focusing on. And the verse that we're using is Ephesians 3.20. And it talks about God doing super abundantly, far over above anything we could dare ask hope or think. And um, I just want to encourage you today that maybe if you're feeling like you're in a, in a dry place, maybe with your writing, anything creative with your worship, that God has an overflow for you to do yeah. beyond what you thought you could do on your own, beyond any hope you ever have, beyond any dream you ever had for your life. And if you just immerse yourself in His presence, He is going to overflow creativity into your life. Yeah, That's great stuff yes. right there. Yes. Nice one. Thank you. Well, this week's topic is why. Why? Why? Like, why do we do what we do? Why do we praise? Why do we worship? Why do we have church? Why do we have music? Why do we have instruments? Why do we wear clothes? So many, why so many questions. Why do we do this thing? So many why. Yes. Yeah. I mean, why? Why? Exactly. Why are you even why? here today? I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we need you here. That's why. Yes. Okay. Um, it's always good to get back to the basics yeah, about definitely. why. Yes. Like the motive, the um, foundational truths of why we do these things. Yep. And so if we look at it in <clears> praise <throat> and worship, why do we praise? Why do we use fast songs? Why do we clap? Well, really, we do it because it's what the Bible says we should do and it's the kind of worship that God wants. So why yeah. not give Him what He wants? And so, like with Planet Shakers, you would know that we are into expressing ourselves physically, yeah. with our voices, with our bodies, with our instruments. So um, we do that because the Bible says to shout, clap, dance before the Lord, use musical instruments, yes. all of these things. So we do it because the Bible says to do it. That's, so that's right there. one of the whys. Yeah. Why else? I'd say that's the best why. I think it's yeah. a great why. The Bible why. says enter his... Gates with thanksgiving in your hearts, enter his courts with praise. Yes. Every time we come to church service, we don't want to just walk in and start, bam, just start preaching. No. no. We want to enter into this 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 meeting with praise in our hearts, with yeah. with thankfulness in our hearts. Definitely. And um, really, we the mo majority of testimonies we hear is from people being touched in in the music, in the praise and the yes. worship. Yes. That's why we do it. We do it yeah. because when we do praise and worship, it brings heaven to earth. Yes. We, it brings it, it sets up an atmosphere for God to move. Um, and sometimes yeah. it doesn't feel like it. Sometimes you feel like, oh, the, the atmosphere is really tough. But as you keep going and you keep going through the songs and just allowing God to move and believing for God to move, um, His His presence takes over and yeah. amazing things happen. That's why we do it. That's yes. why we get up at six o'clock on a Sunday morning. Yeah, That's why we do it because we don't do it. Yeah, And it's easy to get into routine and go, oh, here we go again. We just do it every week. That's the, the earthly natural side of your brain. But you've got to say no to that mm. and go, what an honour and privilege it is mm. to come into to church and see people's lives change. That's why yeah. we do it. Yeah, definitely. That's why we do it. Yeah. Why and do I, you do it? I think that one of the main questions I hear is why do we start with praise? Hmm. You know, when we're talking about music and the best picture, I mean, obviously the Bible does say that he inhabits the praises of his people. And one of the great pictures I get almost every Sunday, it's I visualize. I like to visualize. Why? Oh, yeah, because yeah, it works for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> theater. It yeah. works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I actually imagine, you know, as our as we begin to praise God, our praises actually begin to build a throne mm -hmm. for our king to come and actually sit down amongst our praises. Yes. And once we build that throne for the king of the universe to come and sit in our midst, what does a king do? He rules and he reigns and mm -hmm. he sets out decrees and he takes care of your issues and all those yeah. different things that a, a loving king does. And that's, that's right. why we start with praise. Yes. Yes. And like... We want people every single week when we come together in this corporate setting to encounter personally mm. God. Yes. Mm. So it's not about us. 
we don't do this. The why is not us. The why is not our fame mm. or mm. attention to us. The why is always Jesus yeah. and that personal encounter. So our praise and our worship encourages people to have those personal encounters. Mm. And so that's why we will do our best to create this incredible environment yeah. for people to get healed, to get touched, to hear the voice of God, to get saved. I mean, the reason why the church exists is to see the world saved. Yeah. So we want to create that incredible environment for people to run to that altar and run to God and, mm. and come into that relationship with Him. And a question a lot of people ask around the world is, oh, why do you use those sort of lights and why do you use why do you use a drum kit? I mean, seriously, in this day and age, I don't know why people would ask that question, but for those younger listeners, you know, some of the conservative people used to think the drum kit was from the devil. It's true. Right. Which is crazy because the Bible says make a make a joyful noise to the Lord and drums yeah. make noise and I make joyful noises on the drums. Yes. Um, Andy does too. Yeah. But, you know, why, why do we use lights? We use lights, exactly like Pastor Sam said, to create an atmosphere of heaven. God has given amazing potential in our minds to create mm. things mm. and lighting is a way to create an atmosphere. And we, we really want the atmosphere in our church to be like heaven, full of Definitely. life, full of praise, full of joy. Yeah. And lighting is one thing that helps in that. That's yeah. why we use lights in the way we do. But yeah. also it helps the, the person who doesn't know the church or has a mm. concept of the church that it's irrelevant, that I can't connect, it's not modern. And so to come into a church environment, they see this stage, they see the lighting, mm. they see, see all the visuals, yeah. they see this live band, they're like, wow, I can connect with this because I, I see this out in my everyday yeah. life. Yeah. So immediately they feel comfortable. They don't feel like it's this holier than holier holy kind of environment mm. that they yeah. can't enter into because they feel bad about themselves or the conviction of sin is on them. Mm. And so it's just an opening. It's an, it's an open door to say, hey, we're speaking your language. Mm. Come in and experience God. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Totally. Everything that we do has has a reason, yeah. right? We, we don't do things for the sake of doing it. No. Everything is geared at or well, one, bringing God glory. Mm. If something's not bringing God glory, we're not going to do it. No. Um, and two, reaching the lost and, and, yeah. and reaching the body of Christ. And yeah. so everything we do, we gear it towards that. Uh, yeah. That's why we yes. do it. Yes. Yeah. And why do we use these incredible musicians and singers as part of our, you know, team? Why, why do we um, choose people that have a talent and an ability? Mm. Why? Because God has gifted those people with these talents and abilities. And so by using people that have these creative gifts, instantly we're giving glory to God, we're mm. giving the focus to God as mm. well. And so that's why it's important for us to have excellent musicians yeah. and yeah. excellent creative people because Definitely. we're trying to show people how good God is, mm. how incredible He is. So. That's probably why we just don't choose anybody, you know, to to be part of the music team or that they have to be at a certain level of excellence. Mm. Why? Because we want to play skillfully to the Lord. Yeah. And we Amen. do want people to go, wow, the church is amazing, not the church is some embarrassing, you know, I don't I don't know how to explain it, but you know, just pathetically talented. We yeah. want to be the best yeah. because God's the best. He's really yeah. the so best. Why not have the best in the church, not in the world, in the church? Definitely. And a great example of that is actually my husband when he first came to a Planet Shakers event. What attracted him was the excellence Which of the Which is Rudy, musician. by the way. Yes, Rudy. <laughs> the excellence of the musicianship on the stage. And, and that's actually what drew him in. Yeah. And that was where he encountered God for the first time. And so it, it's definitely a powerful thing to have Totes. excellent musicians on the stage giving their glory to God <laughs> slash yeah. So why don't you ask yourself the question today, why are you doing what you do? Why do you serve on the, on the team? Why do you get up on the stage? Why do you do the sound? Why do you do yeah. it? It's a great reminder to ask yourself and, and stay in that, to, in that mind frame um, and have that right spirit of serving. Yes. We're here to serve. That's why we do it's it. It's all for yeah. Jesus. Yes. And if you get caught in this trap of, it's about me, my promotion, um, what people think of me. It's it's for, I don't know, my own fame. Mm. Then that is a trap that so mm. many people can get yeah. into and the enemy can use that to try and distort what you're really created to do and that is give glory to God. Why? 
Why? I think you just said why. Why? Yeah, why? That was why? A good, I feel like she gave a great oh, why. That yeah. was a good why. It was a great good reason. Really, really good. <laughs> this week on Behind the Scenes, we are going to check out some awesome stuff that happened in Malaysia. you about your future. You are here to save your nation. You have the power and the anointing of God inside of you. When Jesus died on that cross, He said, pain is finished. It does not need to dictate you any longer. God is speaking to a generation to say, listen to the voice of God and take some steps of faith and start stepping out. Well, every week on The Well, we give everybody the opportunity to ask why. (laughs) Yes. Through the email, thewell at Mm planetshakers.com. So if you have any whys, you can ask uh, us and email us. Yeah, that's a W. Yeah, but no, like, for why? Oh, yeah, W-H-Y. W-H-Y. I mean, I could do like that. That doesn't make sense. Why? Uh, Email us at thewell at planetshakers.com and we'd love to answer your questions. (laughs) Okay, guys, you ready for the first question? Yes. No. No? Oh, yes. you are? Yes. Why? Okay. Why? My name is Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. Why? And I live in Co- Colorado <laughs> because his parents why? named him that and that's where they happen to live. Okay. okay. That's why. Uh, my question for you is in your 2015 Asia tour, you recorded a single Momentum. We mm-hmm. did. When are you going to release the song? <gasps> Very soon. That's the, that's the question. Why? When? No, when? No, oh, when? <laughs> That's another one. When I don't know if we, well, I don't know if it's a secret or not, but just just keep your ears open for the next couple Very of months. Peeled. That's what we'll say. Second question: Has the song "Overflow" been written? Because we've obviously been talking about it. So he's Has asking: it, Is there Tell a song us. called "Overflow"? Uh, no, it hasn't <gasps> yet. No, but nearly. 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 Yeah, I'm nearly. working on a pro song at the moment that uh, is quite nice. Yeah. So that could could turn into the overflow anthem. Okay, next question from Jeremy Cluster. Why? Because that's what his parents named him. I have recently been given the awesome but terrifying task of creating a worship team for my church. Oh, Jeremy. I was expecting you to say why. Uh, I'm completely (laughs) new at this and our church is fairly new so we don't have a really big group of people. But I was just wondering if you all would be willing to give some advice on how to create a great and powerful anointed worship team. That is very cute. You can answer that because you're good at that stuff. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, first of all, be confident in the Lord. Yes. Because he has appointed you to this position. That's right. Even though a person might have come up to you and asked you to do the job, see it as God appointing you. And then when God appoints you to do anything, he will give you the mantle. That means he'll give you the anointing, the power, the wisdom, the authority to do it. Mm. So be very confident in this job. Yep. Then ask the Lord, okay, show me, God, who is meant to be part of this team. Mm. And there's a great little story back in the day when we didn't have a keyboard player and when Russell and I were leading this particular youth group and it was God who just pointed this particular guy out in the crowd and said to Russell, who was doing the older call, playing keyboard at the same time, yeah. we were basically doing everything, and said, that guy there and... The particular guy was a drummer, but he could play a little bit of keys. And so ask God, who is there in this congregation of Mm. mine, in this group of mine? Who are my friends or who am I connected with that God is calling to be part of your team and just be led of the Holy Spirit? Mm. 
And then I would say get together, rehearse together, get around the Word of God together, yeah. pray together and yeah. try and build this great family. Mm. That's the power, I think, of Planet Shakers music is that we're a great family and we have great connections. And that starts with getting together, hanging out together, having pizza together, but getting around the Word of God together, having encounters with God together, rehearsing together mm. and, um, you know, just building that real sense of family. And, look, there's so many more things um, that I could say, but hopefully that's a good start. That's a great start. Yeah. Good job, good answer. Next question is from Abdias Rivas. Why? Why? Because that's what his parents like. They like their name. Um, and he's from New York City. <gasps> New York City! Yay! I am a volunteer musician for my church and I just wanted to Good ask, job. are you guys planning on making instrumental tutorials for your songs, drums, bass, oh guitar, keys? Goodness. That would be great. Yes. Shout out to BJ for doing the acoustic guitar tutorials. I'm yes. loving Let's Shout Go album. BJ. It's awesome. Keep yeah. it up. Your work is truly appreciated. God bless. Thank you, Mr. Rivers. We appreciate yes. your kind words. Uh, yes is the answer. We are, we are going to be creating basically every new song that we do in church. We're going mm. to do tutor, drum tutorial, guitar tutorial, bass tutorial. Um, so, and we're just going to upload them to YouTube and anyone can, ha can see them. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah. And, so you, that, and that'll be a great way for you to hear songs that haven't even been released yet. Awesome. Um, so that's, you know what, I think it's exciting, guys. I'm it is excited. exciting. Why? Because it's, it just makes you feel fun. Why? You feel fun. Yeah, yeah I feel fun. Why? <laughs> Next question. Thank you so much for the wealth of knowledge and information. Oh, uh, this, is from, nice. this is from Andre. A-N-D-R-E-Y. Is that Andre? Yes. Andre. Um, uh, was wondering if you guys that. could do an episode on the tracks, the stems, who produces them, what software, et cetera, et cetera. That's probably a good idea, don't you think? Good yeah, idea. We could, we could do an episode on that. We haven't it's planned to. But on why. You might be better. <laughs> Um, and it, we can explain to everyone how what's on the tracks, how we create the tracks. This setup behind us is what we yeah. use to create the tracks. Um, but that's a great question. If you have any more questions like these people, um, write them into the well at planetshakers.com and next week we'll answer them for you. Mm. Uh, uh, soon we're going to be in the US. We yes. are in so a few weeks' time. We'll be in uh, Knoxville, Winterfest. We'll be somewhere in Miami. Miami. Where else will we be? In pu Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Ooh. I don't know right. if that's actually happening. Uh, it um, might, well, it might be happening. So yeah. check the Planet Shakers website, the music tour section, because we would love to meet you in person. Come out and worship, worship with us. Worship. Why? Worship. Why will we worship? Because when we worship, we want to. God loves it. And, uh, we want to worship. What, what even accent is that? We love worship. It's like we, a slash Indian slash German. We want to no, worship. It's, it's, it's Russian. German. Is it it's just... We have nearly come to the end of our episode, but we do not want to finish without telling you an incredible line of advice. Wow. Have you got one, Chelsea? That is pressure. You put incredible in front of it. I know. Incredible. I'll start first then because I've got to go. Okay, go. Ask yourself no. why. <laughs> All right, you go first. Okay. <laughs> Look, I work in our school of music, so I have to say this. You can't say it enough. Invest in your gift. Mm. Steward yeah. the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. biblical. Get yeah. lessons. And yeah. if you can't afford lessons, get with people who are better than you and learn from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good advice. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Good advice. Thank you. My advice would be to ask yourself, what am I doing this for? Why? Before you get on the stage and go onto the stage with the mindset and the attitude and the spirit of I'm here to bring God glory. That's good advice right there. Thank good you so advice. Much. Well done. I'll yeah. take that advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, going to give any yeah, advice? Or yeah. No. Yes, I'll give some advice. Oh, okay. yeah, give, Shall I? Give the listeners some advice. All right. I'm going to give you the advice to get in the overflow. God wants to pour out through your life. He wants to use you. He wants to empower you. So get ready mm. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, good, that's good advice. I like that advice too. <laughs> well, like I said before, if you have any questions, the well at planetshakers.com. It's been great being with you today, wherever you are in the world. Let us know where you're from and, uh, and tell us um, something nice. That why? Be, oh, why? Why not? <laughs> and... Uh, Next week, we will probably have BJ on. Yes, but we thank, but thank you, Chelsea, for joining us today. Yay! Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.